So now it's about the voltage multiplier. Here we are going to discuss about voltage doubler and voltage tripler. Voltage doubler and tripler, here the output voltage is twice or thrice the voltage across the secondary winding. So if we consider the secondary winding voltage as uh, maximum voltage Vm, then output voltage V is equal to 2 into Vm or 3 into Vm. So diodes and capacitors are used here. So first we'll see the voltage doubler. So the voltage doubler circuit is nothing but the DC output which is equal to twice the maximum voltage across the secondary winding. 2 VP or we can say it as a 2 into VM. So transformer is used here and two diodes and two capacitors and output uh, measured across the load resistance REL. So input to be applied across the primary winding is AC input voltage 230 volt 50 hertz supply and the same EMF voltage will be induced across the secondary winding. So if we check the working of the circuit, since it is a sinusoidal, I mean since it is an AC circuit, we are considering two cases during positive half cycle and during negative half cycle. So since there are two diodes, two capacitor, uh, in each cycle only one diode will be on and another diode will be off. Initially, we are considering the capacitor is uncharged. The voltage across the C1 and C2 is equal to 0. Because of the cycle, because of the input, the capacitor will charge. So first we will see the case 1 during the positive half cycle of the input. So during positive half cycle of the input in a sense, the polarity comes here is plus and here it is minus. This is the primary winding and secondary winding. So EMF will be induced across the secondary winding and if we consider the maximum voltage across secondary winding as Vm, then expected output voltage across RL is Vo is equal to 2 into Vm. So plus and minus since it is a positive voltage, positive uh, cycle and same polarity will be coming here plus and minus. And there was a diode D1 and D2 and uh, the how it is connected is the secondary winding of this side is connected to anode and um, the same winding is connected to the cathode of D2. So during positive half cycle means plus, plus will be connected to anode here and cathode here. So D1 will be forward biased and D2 will be reverse biased during the positive half cycle. So now we'll see the current flows and all. So during positive half cycle, the diode D1 here it will be forward, forward biased and D2 will be reverse biased. So the circuit comes like this. So now we have to check whether the circuit is an open circuit or a closed circuit. Means the capacitor receives the current or not. The voltage is, what is the voltage? Everything. So during positive half cycle, D1 is forward biased. And if we check the connectivity here, minus and plus, second rewinding of this is connected to diode D1 and it is connected back to capacitor polarity plus and minus is connected back to the secondary winding. So this forms a closed circuit means there is a current flow across the capacitor C1 means the capacitor starts charging. Initially the capacitor voltage is 0, C1 and C2 voltage is 0. Now the capacitor C1 receiving some amount of current. Uh, so Vc1 is equal to the maximum voltage which is Vm. So voltage across capacitor Vc1 is equal to Vm. So to get that equation, we are applying KVL to this closed loop. So when we apply KVL across the secondary winding, it comes as plus Vm. And next there is a capacitor. So second polarity is minus. So minus Vc1 means plus Vm minus Vc1 is equal to 0. So KVL we are applying uh, for the closed loop. So Vm minus Vc1 is equal to 0. Therefore Vc1 is equal to Vm. So voltage across the capacitor 1 we are getting as maximum voltage of the secondary winding Vm. So now we will check the negative half cycle. So during negative half cycle this negative voltage the polarity here is minus and here it is plus. Same voltage will be induced across the secondary winding. So minus and plus. So uh, if we check back the previous circuit, means uh, main circuit, here the polarity is minus, here it is plus since it is a negative half cycle. So minus that is connected to anode here and minus is connected to the cathode. So D2 will be forward biased and D1 will be reverse biased. Means this will be in off state and D2 will be in a on state. So now we'll check the connection. So minus and plus and next the current flows through the capacitor C2 
and then back to the secondary winding. So, this forms a closed loop, means the current is flowing across the capacitor C2. And here C1 is charged to Vm. No discharge takes place here. Vc1 is charged to Vm. And now, what about Vc2? So, since it is a closed loop, we can apply the KVL equation. So, voltage across the secondary winding, the maximum voltage if we consider it as Vm in this direction, minus 2 plus. So, the equation comes as plus Vm and then minus Vc2 is equal to 0. So, Vm minus Vc is equal, Vc2 is equal to 0. Therefore, Vc2 means voltage across the capacitor C2 is Vm. So, now the capacitor C1 is charged to Vm, even v, uh, C2 charged to Vm. So, C1 and C2, if we check, it's connected serially. So, voltage across RL is nothing but voltage across the capacitor C1 plus voltage across the capacitor C2. So, V was equal to Vc1 plus Vc2, which is equal to Vm plus Vm is equal to 2 into Vm. So, voltage across the load RL is nothing but 2 into Vm. So, output voltage is twice the maximum voltage of the input. This is about the voltage doubler. Next, voltage tripler. So, the expected output is 3 into the maximum voltage. So, 3 into VPR Vm. So, this is a circuit. Here, there are three capacitors and three diodes. So, it is connected in such a manner, we are going to consider three cycles. Negative half cycle, positive and negative. And here the transformer T1 which is connected to capacitor and then diodes and finally to the load resistance RL. And this is the equivalent circuit for the explanation. Same thing if we check this transformer here there is a transformer and then secondary winding is connected to capacitor even here negative of the capacitor and then diode D1 this is diode D1. And between the two diodes here, there is one capacitor C2. So, this forms a C2 capacitor. Between two diodes, there is a capacitor. And then here, there is a capacitor C3 that comes here. And then the last D3 diode. So, here the output voltage we are measuring across this and this capacitor. Upper to capacitor. So, we will consider the cases. Case 1 during negative half cycle. Why we are considering the negative half cycle is, so initially what is the assumption is, uh, all the capacitors are uncharged, means the voltage across the capacitor is zero. So one by one the capacitor will charge and finally we are measuring the output voltage. So this if we consider C1, its voltage across the capacitor is zero. So to make it charge, this diode to be active. So how this diode is connected? Cathode is connected to the upper winding. Anode is connected to the lower winding. So, to make this on, we have to consider the negative half cycle. So, during negative half cycle, the circuit comes like this. During negative half cycle, the polarity is minus and plus. Same voltage will be induced here, minus and plus. And this minus will be connected to the first plate of the capacitor. So, polarity of this plate will be minus and the another side will be plus. And now, if we check the diodes, D1, D2, D3, which will be forward biased and which is reverse biased. So, minus that will be connected to the minus polarity that is connected to cathode here, anode and cathode. In a sense, D1 and D3 will be forward biased and D2 will be reverse biased. Means, this diode is on and this diode is on the middle diode is off. So, during negative half cycle, D1 and D3 is forward biased. D2 is a reverse biased. So, now D1 and D3 acts as a closed switch. D2 is a open switch. So, now we are considering this closed loop and we are writing the KVL. If we consider the maximum voltage of secondary winding as Vm, so we can write the equation as minus Vm and second polarity here is plus. So, plus consider the voltage across capacitor C1 as Vc1. Vc1. So, equation is minus Vm plus Vc1 is equal to 0. So, Vc1 we get as a Vm means the capacitor C1 that will charge to Vm. So, voltage across the capacitor C1 is Vm. So, now we will see the next case which is during positive half cycle. 
So during positive half cycle, what happens to this circuit? So positive half cycle means the polarity here is plus minus and here it was plus and down it is minus. So plus is connected to cathode. So this diode is off and next the plus polarity is connected to anode means this diode is on and this is off means D2 is power biased and D1 and D3 are reverse biased. So voltage across a capacitor C1, here there is no discharging path, only charging path. So Vc1 is charged to Vm. So same polarity we have to consider here, minus and plus for the remaining cases. So this remains the same now, minus Vc1, here it is plus. So now during positive half cycle, so we know already what is Vc1, which is Vm. So minus and plus, that remains same according to the previous case. So now D1 and D3 are reverse biased. D2 is forward biased. So out of this loop, this one forms a closed loop. This is open loop. So here it forms a closed loop. So now we have to find what is the voltage across a capacitor C2. So for that we are applying the KVL. And polarity, since it is a positive half cycle, this is plus, this is minus, and again the polarity is induced plus here and minus here. So when we apply KVL, second polarity, this is plus, plus Vm, and second polarity here is again plus, so plus Vm, so Vm plus Vm, and next comes our capacitor, second polarity in this path is minus, minus Vc2 is equal to 0. So Vm plus Vm which is 2 Vm, therefore Vc2 means the voltage across the capacitor, C2 is 2 Vm. And what about this polarity of the plates? So how to find it? So this is minus, minus is connected to the first plate of the capacitor. So the polarity here is minus and the another side will be plus. So we are getting Vc2 is equal to 2 into Vm. So voltage across the capacitor C1 is Vm, it is charged till 2 Vm and Vc2, capacitor C2 is charged to 2 Vm. And next, after negative and positive, one more negative half cycle means case 3. The previous capacitor C1 and C2, the values are here it is minus Vm, here it is 2 Vm, Vm and 2 Vm. So now one more capacitor C3, currently it is 0, now we have to check what is the voltage across that during negative half cycle. So during negative half cycle, minus and here it is plus and here it is minus and here it is plus. So this minus and plus decides the polarity of this capacitor C3. How? Because minus which is connected to cathode of D1 and cathode of D3 means D1 and D3 will be forward biased and D2 will be reverse biased and this plate is connected to minus and so the other side will be plus. So consider the voltage across capacitor C3 as Vc3 and here we done with the C1 and C2 so we are consider we can consider this loop means this loop or we can consider the entire outer loop. The equation comes same. So if you apply KVL for this loop, so this is unknown. So we are considering Vc3. So minus and plus. So in this root, if you if you write equation, we'll get as Vc3 plus Vc3 minus 2Vm. Second polarity, Vc3 minus 2Vm is equal to 0. I'm considering this polarity means this loop I am considering. So polarity here it is plus and here it is minus. So plus Vc3 minus 2 Vm is equal to 0. So Vc3 will be 2 into Vm or we can consider the entire loop. This outer loop we can consider will get the same answer. Here it is minus Vm. If you write the KVL uh, equation here comes minus Vm and here it is plus Vm. Minus Vm and plus Vm gets cancelled and remaining is this Vc3 plus Vc3 will be there and then minus 2 Vm minus 2 Vm. So Vc3 is equal to 2 into Vm. So finally the voltage across the capacitor C1 C1 which is Vm voltage across a capacitor C2 which is 2 into Vm and voltage across a capacitor C3 which is 2 into Vm. So now if we check final polarities, 
if we check the polarity means we are measuring the output voltage across this two capacitors so if we check the polarity of both the capacitors minus and plus this is minus and this is plus again this is also same minus and plus so we can add the values of these two capacitors so plus vm plus 2 vm which is 3 into vm so output voltage is 3 into vm since the pl plate uh, capacitor plate of polarity is same output voltage is nothing but here voltage across the capacitor c1 and c3 which is vm plus 2 vm is equal to 3 vm here C1 charges to positive peak secondary voltage while C2 and C3 charge to twice the positive peak secondary voltage. Means C1 ka voltage we are getting Vm. C2 and C3 we are getting as 2 into Vm. That's what here. So the result is that output voltage is a sum of voltage across the upper capacitor C1 and C3 which is 3 times the voltage that would be produced by a single diode. So this is about the voltage doubler and the voltage tripler.